This wonderful piece is called the H&R Block Shuffle. It's by a local sculptor, Kansas City sculptor named Stretch. That's the only name he goes by. It's Stretch, he's a wonderful guy. And it's about the marriage between art and commerce, art and business. H&R Block headquarters on one side and then the Kansas City rep on the other. It's about those two energies spinning around each other and cooperating because commerce helps so much for arts to advance and progress. Uh, the blue discs represent creativity and the Kansas City rep. And then the green rectangular shapes in cast glass represent block and of course the color green reflects on block. Very popular piece, difficult to install because it weighs close to a ton, but we had a lot of fun installing it. This incredible painting of the plains of the high prairie is by Phil Epp. He's a Kansas painter who now has a huge national following. And uh, his interpretation of the high plains and the skies that accompany all that and how those skies change is something else. We like this because it was stormy, it was passionate. He indicates the flow of the wind by slightly bending the telephone poles, which was a Thomas Hart bitten trick. And we just love how it's this wonderful, vast, peaceful scene in the middle of the high prairie. Margaret Shelby is a magnificent equine painter from the Kansas City area. But when you first look at this painting, you don't think horses. And that's because she painted it from up above in a barn loft with horses circling down below on the first level of the barn. So this is a drawing or interpretation of two horses circling inside of a barn and other images drawn in to complement that. Many people think it's fish in a fish bowl and that kind of thing, and that's fine. It's the beauty of a contemporary art. It is whatever you want it to be at the time, but what it really is is an equine painting capturing two graceful horses from up above looking down on those two horses. We like to have a variety of media in this collection. You have glass, stainless steel, bronze, cast glass, bone glass, oil paintings, photography. This is fiber. This is by Pauline Verbeek. She used to teach at the Kansas City Art Institute. And it's hand-woven fiber, and it's an interpretation up close of various reeds. And you can clearly see the reeds in this piece. The same kind of reeds that we use in a particular kind of basketry, but I don't remember from which part of the world. And so it's a fiber piece that interprets reeds, but can you imagine how complicated this is to create? And we just wanted to hear because it was soft, it's elegant, it's understated, and I wanted to make sure you have plenty of women in the collection along with men. And boys are work worthy. It was a lot of fun putting it in. This uh, magnificent piece is in cast glass. It's by Dirk Van Keppel, a Kansas City glass artist. The metal work which he designed is by Zaner Sheet Metal. They do custom metal work all over the world, including on the more, most recent Guggenheim Museum. They're based in KC. And it's just a celebration of light and color. If you'll notice, there are spheres hanging at the ends of various glass elements, and that's actually for balance. Frequently, these pieces move with the air currents of the space just slightly, and that was intentional. And we put it here so it would capture this fantastic light on this southern exposure, which faces the uh, P&L district. Uh, this is Oil on Panel by Derek Breidenthal, regional artist, Kansas City artist. It's a type of abstraction interpre interpreting landscape and cityscape. I don't remember what he had in mind when he did this one. It could have been off the Florida coast or it could have been Kansas City from the Missouri River. Whatever the case, you can see the coast or the shore here, a suggestion of buildings here, and the rest is color, light, and play. His works are understated, but always quietly powerful. He's a magnificent painter, and Block owns four paintings by Derek. These are acrylic on panel by Tom Gregg, and it's just an interpretation of different types of granite balls. They look like cue balls at first, but they're actually not. And uh, he just like interpreting these spherical shapes. It's quiet, it's sedate. And then of course, this is almost a reference to a cue stick, but not quite. And the trick is not just in the painting, but how you arrange them. And we thought hanging on this way would be fantastic. And, the way all the color plays one off the other and all these small framed individual pieces, I think is so sophisticated and understated and yet uplifting that it just belongs in this collection. So here it is.